All right, Chef Ramsay. Reveal to me thine secrets. How the hell am I supposed to do this next part? The other human here is terrible at explaining it. <sighs> I know it's not actually him. I only mean... Uh, I, I want to pay close attention to this next part. I am determined to make you the most delicate French omelette you have ever seen. It's the only way this exchange will work. Yes, it, and it has to be very specifically French. The Frenchiest omelette. Obviously, my name is vitally important. As much as a good breakfast is, at least. I've even been practicing while you're at work, too. And I always mess up this part. Yeah. You tap the pan to roll it over itself, and I just seem to... Well... I'll say it was a good thing you showed me where the cleaning supplies are. <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah. There was egg all over your stove. I cleaned it up. It's only right that I rectify that, given it was my fault. Well, hey. I'm a demon, not an asshole. Mostly. I won't make you clean up after me. Feed me, yes. Be my maid... No. Not unless you put on one of those maid outfits. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd say that. But if you change your mind, you know where I live. Now, let me see here. This looks a little better. If I tilt it this way and then shake it a little... Fuck! Duh. Apparently, it breaks entirely apart. Fantastic. Just brilliant. I guess we're making this into a regular omelet. Or scrambled eggs. <sighs> I know it's not the end of the world, but if I'm going to tell you my name, I have to do it exactly as we agreed. Right. A perfect French omelet. I can't settle for any less. No, I'm not joking. Why would I be? A name is a serious thing. Just because you give yours out so willingly doesn't mean I do. Names are a big deal for demons. Not that you'd know this, but knowing my name means... Well... A lot. Demons' names can be used to control them. Telling you my name is giving you power over me. It can't just be given to you. There has to be an exchange. Names are exchanged in payment for something. In this case, I am learning to cook. And you will receive my name in return once I've proven myself. Anything else... And there's some dark magic shit that goes down. That won't be good for you or me. <laughs> well, yes, at the moment Gordon is teaching me. But you gave me those lessons on the first day. You still do it at night after work, too. I live here. And you allow me to use your kitchen. You buy the ingredients. I sleep in your bed and you buy me clothes. My name... It's the only thing I have that's an appropriate repayment for all of that. It has nothing to do with your kindness, and I'm not being kind either. This is about power. I can't live my life knowing I owe you such a huge debt. I tell you my name, and we're even. You have been very kind to me, and I like being around you. It's only right that I repay you. Well, why, why do you, why would it be more than that? 
No, it's... It's not. Yes, I'd like it if you knew my name. You can't keep calling me Big Red forever. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to do this the right way. It's a big deal for me. A rose by any other name. This isn't about that. This is about my real name. It's important. I thought I just got done explaining this. And why do you say I'm thorny? Is this some kind of joke about my thorns? Horns? Horns, I said horns. All right, all right, fine. You know what? Forget the eggs. I'm sure there's some other home I can hang around in. Perhaps the inhabitants there will be more willing to give me their soul. Then, I don't even need to worry about eggs, or Gordon, or you. Oh, what? Are you backpedaling already? That's not like you. Oh, it'll take more than rolling your eyes and saying I'm dramatic. What did you mean, then? It had better be good. Feel free to use ample complimentary language, too. I so long to hear you compliment me. Huh. Your apology is accepted. I can hardly stay mad at you anyway. For what it's worth, I think you're rather rosy yourself, too. Despite your prickly bits. I'm quite fond of you. No, I will not elaborate on what that means. Do you think so? Well, uh, thank you. I, uh, appreciate it. <clears throat> if you must say kind things, I will reciprocate and tell you that I appreciate your virtues. Strange for a demon, I'm aware, but it's true. You are generous and kind and mostly humble. Yeah, m mostly. But it's all right. I wouldn't be able to stand it if you were a goody two-shoes. Your virtues and your vices both are equally appealing to me. I wouldn't change a single thing about you. So don't change, all right? Or if you insist on changing, let me change with you. <clears throat> well, then that's the end of that, then. <laughs> we have an accord, and we will not speak of it again. So, uh, you want some eggs? It's no French omelette, but it's something. Hey. Wait for me. For the day that I can make you one. Okay? It won't take too long. <laughs> okay. <laughs>